Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to transfer music from your iPod to Windows 8.1. Okay, to get started, let's go ahead and grab your iPod and plug it into a USB port on your laptop or your desktop computer. And what you'll get is this prompt in the upper right hand corner here asking you what um, to do with the iPod. And uh, you want to go ahead and click on number two here, open folder to view files in um, File Explorer. And that opens up the File Explorer window where you can access your iPod. Now, if you don't get that prompt that allows you to um, open the File Explorer up, um, go ahead and you know, from your desktop or your um, Windows 8.1 start screen, right click, you'll get a menu go up and click on File Explorer and that will open up the File Explorer window and you'll be able to go over and click on your iPod in which you'll be able to see your folders within your iPod. Right now I can see four folders and the folder that we're going to be working with is going to be called iPod underscore control and presently you can't see it because it's hidden and we're going to go up here and unhide it by clicking on view that brings up this uh, toolbar here and we go over to the right hand side and click on options and we go down and click on change folder and search options and that opens up the folder options window where I can go ahead and click on the view tab here and go down to advanced settings and click on show hidden files folders and drives once I have a mark on that, I can go ahead and click on Apply and then click on OK. Now I can see the iPod underscore control folder. It's no longer hidden and I can click on it and open that up. And um, I can go down here and click on the music folder and open that one up. And this allows me to see all the folders that has music um, on my iPod and it's F00 through whatever you could have more depending on how much music you have um, I'm gonna right click not right click but I'm gonna click on F00 and you can see I have four songs within the F00 folder and uh, alright let's go ahead and go back one level and on the F00 which is the one folder that I'm gonna be working with I'm gonna right click and go down and click on copy and that copies that folder into my computer's memory, which will allow me to paste it um, in a few minutes on my computer. Now you can use the shift key or control key to um, copy multiple folders. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close out of this and open up our iTunes um, application. And then go up to the menu bar here and click on edit. Now, if you don't see this menu bar, um, the way you show and hide it is uh, you click on the down arrow here and um, you can hide the menu bar or you can go back up here and click on the down arrow and certainly show the menu bar um, to allow you to see it. Once you do see it, go ahead and click on edit and go down to preferences. And once you have this uh, window open the preferences window go over to the advanced tab and click on that and what we're interested in is the location of our iTunes media folder this is where mine is located and this is the default location so if you haven't changed it it will be um, similar to mine if you have changed it um, in the past please make note of it and uh, make sure you have a check mark here. I like doing this to um, organize my music and, or, and let iTunes organize it rather. And uh, check mark here to, to uh, allow iTunes to consolidate my music and click on OK. Now we want to go ahead and minimize iTunes and go down to the lower left hand corner and right click on our menu we want to go ahead and click on file explorer if you haven't already got um, file explorer open and under this PC um, we want to go to the iTunes media folder which is music iTunes and then iTunes media folder and within the iTunes media folder we want to 
right click and paste that F00 folder that we copied off of our iPod into our computer memory. Then we want to right click that folder F00 and go down to properties and we want to unhide um, that folder so that iTunes can see it. And of course click OK, OK, and OK. Because if you don't unhide it, iTunes um, application will not be able to see that folder. Okay, now we want to go ahead and um, open up iTunes again. And we want to go up here and click on Edit. And we want to go to Preferences. And we want to go to Advance again. Uh, just to make note of where the iTunes Media folder is. Because that's where we want to go. I'm going to say Cancel here. And then I'm going to go to File. And go down to Add Folder to Library. Click on Music. And then we want to click on iTunes. And we want to click on iTunes Media Folder and F00. And then we want to go over here and click on Select Folder. And that brought the four songs that I copied from my iPod onto my computer into iTunes application. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.